Oscar. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just finished shaving, but I want to do a quick um, shave of the day recap. Last night, I got finally got the um, just like everybody else. It seems like yesterday we got our Shave Market um, limited edition brush from Kelly Hogan of Beaver Woodwright, and I, this isn't going to do it justice. Those of you that got it know what it looks like in person, and each handle obviously is going to be different, but. I'm looking at it and it's like, you know, I mentioned something about Starry Night, but it's, it kind of reminds me of, you know, those satellite weather pictures when there's a, you know, a hurricane setting into a certain part of the world or whatever. It kind of reminds me of that. It's a really nice deep blue with uh, white, you know, I'm not sure what the ter right terminology is in, it's not inlays obviously, but nice white accents. I know there's reflection from the light, but this is beautiful. It really is. And it's it's a monster. It, it's bigger than I thought it would be overall. I mean, the handle plus, you know, the loft of the knot. Um, I got the synthetic, which is really soft, um, but it's overall quite a big brush. This, it, this compared to the Savile Row, look how, how much of a difference that is. And the knot is pretty equal in diameter, but um, and then this one's even bigger. This is my my chargers, um, well San Diego chargers for now. Um, brush that I got from Scott Pavkovich, and that is still, you know, it, this is this is for me anyway is a monster. I don't know, you know, somebody like you know big paws like a Thomas Burgess or somebody might. You know, might be <laughs> for me. It's 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 good, and and then the, the splay. There's not a whole lot of backbone. The splay is really easy. There's not a lot of backbone. Um, you know, compared to you know my charger one, there's same thing. Um, but this is more of a, a a fan shape, and this is a little bit more of a bulb, um, which I like. Um, I'm going to be looking to switch the knot on this eventually. Um, but I liked it. It was it was. It was good. It was. It felt really good. What I did was. Oh, and, and another thing. Um, after my review of Jennifer Mason Martin's um, soaps in the pass around from the Shave Market, um, she and I were talking a little bit, and I had uh, kind of done a little um, research on her scent profiles for all her soaps on her Etsy site, and the in the pass around we had the Josephine, the Isabella, and the Maya. This one um, sounded really a lot more interesting to me. I like the Maya in the pass arounds the most, but according to the scent descriptions, I I asked her about the Evelyn. I don't know if it'll focus. It says Evelyn right here. Um, and she was generous enough to send me a sample of the Evelyn. And this, it's a small sound. I mean, it's a, it says it's 0.75 ounces, but this thing was packed to the gills. I mean, this was packed tight like a tub of Katie's Bubbles, how it's packed all the way to the top. And it kind of looks the same as far as texture and stuff. This stuff, so because of the um, the size of the brush and obviously the size of the container, I scooped out a piece and I put it into the Shave Market Bowl. And I'm, I have, I'm gonna post Shave of the Day pictures. I took a picture of the lather and stuff. This stuff, it was voluminous. It was it was fluffy and it was just a beautiful, beautiful lather. And then you know, putting that stuff on my face with the displayability of the uh, of the brush and the size, it really felt so smooth. Like I was just kind of painting my face with with like a really smooth texture of like sour cream. Maybe I know people use yogurt as as an analogy, but um, not that I've put sour cream or even yogurt on my face, but the, the, the smoothness and the, the sheen um, was just fantastic with this soap and this brush. Um, with it being a softer soap, I think maybe it lathered a little bit easier um, than a harder soap would, but I'm going to still use it with a harder soap just to kind of get a good idea. Um, so I bowl lathered and it was just fantastic. You'll see in the picture how great the lather was. Um, unfortunately, my, my sink water doesn't get that hot, um, so I would have liked it to be a little bit warmer. So what I'm probably going to have to do next time is use water from the tub because that stuff gets pretty hot really easily. I don't know what the problem is here. But um, again, Jennifer, um, fantastic job on the soap. 
Um, this scent is fantastic. Your scent description on Etsy um, has a lot of stuff, a lot of, uh, of stuff on it. In fact, where's, I don't know where my phone is. I was going to read you guys the, the scent description, but I don't know where my phone is. Um, anyway, um, stupid, I'm recording with the phone. Retard. Anyway, um, sorry. This stuff was fantastic. Um, the scent description, like I said, it, it sounds like, um, it sounded like it might be a little put offish for a guy. Um, it sounded a little bit, um, I want, I don't want to say feminine, but, um, but she kind of comes back with the, uh, with the caveat that it, although it sounds a one way, it is quite masculine and I liked it. It was very, um, pleasurable scent. I really liked it. So, um, great job, Jennifer on the Evelyn. Um, I will be picking up some of this and probably the Maya, um, pretty soon. So thank you. And again, thank you for, for the sample. Um, again, the brush was fantastic. It doesn't do it justice on the phone. And I got number 55. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom. Um, San Diego Chargers, obviously big junior Seau fan. Um, he grew up here and, um, you know, he left, uh, far too soon. So, um, so I just wanted to talk about the brush and, um, Jennifer's soap. It was very, very generous of her to send me that sample. And, um, I wish you success with your, with your soap line, Jennifer. So, um, that's about it. And guys, if you haven't, um, I, I did that, uh, auction video on Mon on Wednesday, today's Friday. And, um, I'd really like a little bit more participation if it's possible. Unfortunately, I only have one bid right now. So if you can go to my Facebook page or find my, find the video, um, about the auction. Um, and I really hope that, um, I can get a little bit more participation. So, um, again, thank you for your time. Uh, continued success, Jennifer, and I will see y'all soon. Peace. Bye.